I'm going to be attempting blindfolded cooking again with an actual chef. We're going to be making sushi with Chef PK. Hello. Hey, how's it going? We're going to be making what he calls sushi, but what is actually kimbap. If you guys don't know what kimbap is, it's a, like a oh. Korean dish where it's somewhat like sushi, but it's used, you're using cooked ingredients and it's one of my favorite things. All right, I'm going to enter the matrix. So you're going to be my eyes now. All right, cool. So what's our first step? You need a small pot. Do you have a small sauce pot? Is there a pot here? Look, bottom right corner. Yeah, it looks like you have the rice on the table already. Yes, I got sushi rice for you. Oh, you did buy sushi rice. Open up the top. <laughs> God, what did I get myself into, Muran? Okay, you open a little side of it. We're gonna pour in maybe like a third of the bag. Slowly pour into that pot. You're good, you're good. Stop. That should be plenty for what we're gonna do, I hope. Place it directly in, and it sh uh, is it coming up to just about the first knuckle? I, I think so. It might be a little less, but I don't want you to make too much. We should tell him to wash the rice because he is doing kimbap. Do you have any kind of a strainer? Uh, is there a white strainer here? Can you look up a little bit? Because I'm seeing your hands. Mudan, you literally have nothing in your house. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Screw the strainer. Go to the All sink, right. and we're going to just fill it uh, right about there and kind of mix it around a little bit. Yeah, th this is just you're gently like washing the rice, right? So now you're going to try to remove that water. After you do that and you strain most of it, you're going to fill it with water up to the first knuckle. Keep going. It looks I like it's still a little shy. Nope. And then do the finger technique. See how much water is in there. If it comes up to that first knuckle, you should be okay. Okay, so now you have your rice on the stove. Turn on the rice and bring it up to a strong simmer slash boil. There's a yeah, button and... near the middle to turn it on and oh, then to turn these things. Oh, okay. So where your left hand is, you're pretty yeah. close to the button. A little more to oh. the right. There, you, Yeah, you got it. Now you have that side. So it's going to be bottom right corner uh, down. I touched something. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's the one you want. So I don't know how hot your stove gets. Uh, 10 is so, maximum. So bring it up to like a seven because you actually want it to come up to a boil and then we have to bring it down to that simmer to finish cooking it. There you go. Keep tapping right there. How much? Uh, one more. There you go. That's up. Oh, you turned on the other, the other burner. So put your finger out again. Go up just a little bit and then go to your left. Yep. Tap it again. There. Okay. Don't do anything else. Remove your hands from the stove. All right. We got it to the seven. Everything good? I feel like the rice is going to burn. No, we have a professional looking over us. Now you have to actually also cook chicken, right? Oh I believe God. Have... Yes, I do. Yeah. No, I hate this. Not only do I have to cook chicken, I think I, I kind of have to cut it as well. Oh, Jesus. So you got your chicken. Yeah. I should I just I'm... tell you to not even use a knife. That's probably going to be the best bet. I can use a knife. What do you mean? This is dangerous, sir. No, I I've used a knife before. That is fine. Which way is the sharp side? Uh, 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 I, yeah, this side. Okay. Oh, God, this is terrifying. So you're going to butterfly them. And what that means is you're basically going to just kind of open them up from the center. So yeah. you're going to use your knife. Okay, you can just... <laughs> <laughs> just do this. All good? It's fine. You can just tear it apart like a like a <laughs> Neanderthal. Gra grab your knife. And so we're going to butterfly them somehow. This is going to be terrifying. But we're going to basically split it uh, long ways. Yeah, just, you know what? Like, just go for it at this point. Uh, I was trying to explain butterflying. but uh, Oh, yeah. I have no idea what that means. I thought they yeah, just like yeah, yeah. butterfly with wings and then you rip it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Right. You almost butterflied that, but like, I'm just trying to get you to make them a little bit smaller. So this way they don't take so long to cook, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. That, because otherwise those chicken breasts would take like 20 or 30 minutes. But in this case, we'll saute them up instead. We'll just use them on a saute pan. You're uh, saying fancy words again. Saute pan is not fancy, Modan. <laughs> you, you have an option between a pan and a pot. That's perfect. I feel know. like we're too messy now. This is why well, I mean, we're only two ingredients deep, Modan. <laughs> Bro, my neck is breaking from the battery packs being on the other side. Ah. So before we go back to the chicken, let's double check the rice. Can you get a little bit closer and not burn yourself? Okay, cool. So that's simmering nicely. So bring it back down to the five. Go to your right just a smidge. There you go. Hit it once again. Now grab your lid and throw the lid over the rice. It doesn't. It's not gonna. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. We're gonna set a timer for five minutes. Oh, it's, it's too early for your time oh you got it you, you you did the timer faster than i did the damn timer <laughs> i've done this before i've cooked now some I, rice in my life now i feel inadequate <laughs> want but, me to get a bowl yeah or a plate or anything just so you can get rid of your cutting board and then we're gonna season it up just a little bit oh All right, god thank you, you're gonna do a fancy chicken it's literally salt and pepper I literally don't put salt and pepper on my chicken oh mood on jesus christ you know when i visit <laughs> or when you visit we're gonna have a conversation we're gonna have a long hard talk <laughs> about your kitchen habits dude it's so easy you just Cook chicken. All right, now grab your bowl and we're gonna place all of the chicken in it. Just grab it all. Yeah, yeah, just grab all of it. Wanna see me eat it raw? I will literally leave. So you're gonna need some kind of a saute pan or a pot. Oh, there you oh. go. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, place that on your stovetop. Move the pan 
down like and I'm going to say everything in inches because I'm a imperial scum. There you go. It's on the it's it's perfect. So right. now you're also going to need maybe some oil or pan spray if you have it. Did you say hand spray? Is this yeah, fine? That's perfect. We're going to do just a splash of oil. You're not going to need too much. That's good. That's good. That's good. Plenty. Oh, the timer went off. OK, perfect. What do I do? So check the so what I want you to do is grab the, the rice handle, which is going to be back towards the wall. Now move it towards the back of the stove. I want you to grab a spoon or a fork if you have one just to just to test it. Now grab the lid off of the rice. Yep. So you can grab the top of it. Perfect. Yeah. Maybe we actually have good rice. All I just right. want you to kind of prong it and see if it's cooked. Bit? Yeah, that's perfect. Just see if it's cooked. What, how do I know if it's cooked? If it tastes like cooked rice. Does it taste like cooked rice, Mudan? Yeah. Yeah? We cooked yeah. rice? Yeah. Bro. It doesn't taste burned or anything. This oh, is shit. the best. If anything else, I don't care what happens. We made rice <laughs> blindfolded today. Hell okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Throw the lid back on it. Not in that pan. To your right. To your right, other right. Nope, that's the that's the saute pan. That's the pot. Just leave the lid there for a second. I usually like to let my rice rest for a bit. So Love I'm it, gonna man. set another timer for like three minutes. Yeah. So now we're gonna grab the chicken. Um, do you have any salt and pepper by any chance? Uh, I <laughs> I do. There you go. There's a salt and something roasted. That, that one, yeah. It's roasted garlic, I think. I'm roasted sure. garlic? Roll with it. Pop it on there. Just, just this? Yeah, sure. And then salt. You're gonna need oh, salt. Uh, to, yeah, there you go. I think that's salt. Unless it's like just a bottle of MSG. <sighs> You're gonna pour some of that into your left hand. Oh, you can use a lid too. Yeah, that's fine. So okay. just go ahead and throw that right on top of your chicken and just kind of like sprinkle it to the best of your ability. There you go. Perfect. That one, you know, do like a 10 significant cranks. All right. We'd love to see it. Now we can start cooking the chicken. So back to the saute pan that you had with the oil in it already. So your stove, oh. I think, is off now. Yeah. So we have to return it on. Now the, the oil should hopefully be hot. Gently place all of that chicken into that pan. Okay? I think this is probably the craziest thing I've done. Now you're going to gently just flip the bowl. Yeah, yeah, you're good. And just go. You're good. Do we need to stir the chicken now? Yeah, exactly. So it's like just grab yourself like a wooden spoon or, you know, something. <laughs> Perfect. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. Okay, there you go. Now, be careful because the oil is sizzling. Oh, God, this is going to be a oh, disaster. Oh, all right. You're good. You're just getting, you know, you just lose an arm hair. That's what it's there for. There's a lot right. of oil flying around. Your chicken's looking pretty solid, man. So what I'm going to say, there's a couple of pieces that didn't get flipped, but we can throw a lid on it. Okay, so we're going to turn the heat down. Oh, you know what? You had the lid in the up top cabinet. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh. one that like has like one thing in it. Yeah, that's your one lid to your left. There you go. There are some pieces of chicken that are going to take some time to cook because I can still see that they weren't like flipped all the way. So we're going to throw the lid on it. As long as the chicken gets steamed and covered, you should be okay. Now we're going to set a timer for that. I'm going to set it for five minutes. Now we can look at some vegetables. We have cabbage, bell peppers. We have the nori, wasabi, and cucumber. So we'll start with the cucumber first, which is going to be, there's your cutting board, there's your knife. It's the one that feels nice and girthy. There you go. Are you going to say one. it like that? Because I said it and you immediately grabbed it. So <laughs> so now you have to take the... Uh, take. Oh God, okay, that was terrifying. Um, I got the tip off, you know, so you can yeah, open it up. You know, hey man, you're the one saying it. I don't think we'll need the whole thing. Yeah, we'll just need half of that cucumber. We almost had floor cucumber. So... Cut yes, in half? Now, yeah, split that in half. Oh man, when you like grab the knife, I get terrified. Now cut those long ways in half again. Perfect. Almost there. This is going to be uh, another hard part. So you have to take those and cut each of those in half one more time. So we can kind of get some strips. So this way it'll fit inside the sushi roll to. So you have your cucumbers cut. We'll check the chicken. Nice. Oh. That actually doesn't look pretty bad. You know, it looks like half poached. You know, it's better than better than raw. You just want to oh. grab yourself uh, a piece of chicken to see if it's cooked. Grab any of them, really. Just poke it and be careful because there is some oil on there. Bring that over to your cutting board. So turn, do a 180. There you go. Perfect. And you be careful. Your knife is to your left. This is going to be hard to see. So we're going to cut that in half. I just want to see if we can see the inside and see if it's cooked. Is it oh, cut in that's, half? that's good. That's, that's white meat chicken. Okay. Where's the bell pepper? Knife. So bell pepper, left hand. Okay. Reach straight out no, to your left. That's All the cabbage. Right. There you go. So now we're going to, this is going to be hard to explain. There you go. You stabbed it, which is good. So now you're going to find the top of the bell pepper where the stem is. Yep. Take the knife and kind of place it horizontally up against that. So that way you're basically cutting around the stem. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And just slice straight down. Oh, like so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This feels right? so wrong. It does. Yeah. So yeah, just Neanderthal it. Rip it out. Just pull it. I'm going to do it over the seed. Oh, for the seeds. Yeah, yeah. Probably good call. Now you basically just have the flesh of the bell pepper, more or less. 
Beautiful. Now bring it back to your cutting board and we're going to try to cut little slices just like we did with the cucumber. With like kimbap or sushi, you want the slices to be somewhat similar so they kind of stack, right? Yeah. So grab the bell pepper again with your left hand. Grab a chunk of it. There you go. Perfect. That's a nice looking yeah. piece right there. All right. There you go. Perfect. So we're just going to slice it just like you did with the cucumber. Just tell me when I'm going to cut my fingers and I won't. That last piece? That's that. Oh, that's really close. That's am I? Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. That's that's solid. Okay, now it's gonna be just a little bit of the cabbage. All right, so you got your your cabbage. You got your knife right there. Go to your right. To your right. There it is. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. Did it fall in your lap? It did. Luck is on my side. We can do this. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't do that to the poor cabbage. What did it do to you? We're about to sacrifice it for food. So, do you feel where the stem is? So, take your left hand. Yeah. To the right of that. Place your knife down. Yeah. And then just kind of slice straight down. Be careful because it's gonna roll. There you go. We're gonna work with that chunk. So you can you can get rid of the big guy. Oh no! Don't eat it. Now you're gonna do the same thing you did with you, like you did with the bell peppers, where you're just kind of slicing them nice and uniform. Grab a little bit of it. Yeah, literally just pick it up, and you're you're gonna be able to like remove the layers, just so this way it's easier to work with. You're just kind of making it fluffy a bit. Now all of your prep is pretty much ready, right? We can start putting together the kimbap. I know you said you also got like soy sauce and mayo. We can grab them out because we're going to start rolling the kimbap. So there's a um, black bottle somewhere here. Uh, Up, I think. Up one. Yeah, that one. Is this one? Yeah, Tamari. There you go. Right. That's it. And mayo. Want to see me uh, juggle? No, I don't want to see you juggle. Uh, Not next to the hot oil. I just don't want to see anything. Now we're going to make a little like soy sauce mayo, right? Uh, so if you right. have a small a small bowl. This one? Yeah. That'll, that'll work. That's good. We're going to make a little sauce with that. So you're going to want to open the mayo, squeeze out like maybe a third of that. It's hard to see because it's white. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Ooh. So now the soy sauce. You don't want to put too much because it's going to be strong. Keep going. That's that's perfect. Now we're just going to we're going to mix those together. This is uh, so therapeutic now after all the chaos. Ah. That looks good. It's like a creamsicle. You might need a, a working surface. Do you have another cutting board by any chance? Mm. Just so you have somewhere to roll out the sushi. I have those. You know what? That'll be fine. Because remember, when you're when you're doing like kimbap, it's not like sushi, how it's uh, super uniform. It can be a little sloppy and it's great. Right. I think this might be the most complex blindfold cooking I've done this far. All right. You ready to start rolling? Uh, sure. Grab your nori sheets. Now we're going to grab a couple of scoops of rice and place it as, as centered as you can. All right, so, if, if, it, if it's really sticky for you too, you can grab like a little uh, cup of water. Am I centered? So, uh, so, so your right hand go towards the middle a little bit. Where is the middle? Uh, towards the left. I'm sorry. Towards the left. Right. I'm like, look at it. Yeah, there you go. So you want to do like, let's say that size scoop, you're going to do like five of those scoops. So the, the harder part is you'll probably will need some water for this because you have to kind of spread the rice out a little bit, right? So it's going to stick to your fingers. Basically try to spread the rice pretty evenly. Now dip your fingers in the rice. Oh, I'm sorry, in the, in the water, <laughs> in the water. Oh my no, God. <laughs> No, in the water this time, hopefully. If All you right, dip in the is... mayo, I'm just be like, just go for it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and then do your other thing, your other hand too. Use your now wet fingers to sl like slightly press the rice down. So it's not just like a whole log. So this way you kind of have like an even spread of it. You usually need a lot more rice than this. So I'm going to say dip your right hand in the water to grab a small uh, handful of rice. You're going to need, yeah, a little more than that too. That should be okay now. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna accomplish this now. Now get your fingers wet again, and then press the rice dish like you did earlier. We're gonna add some fillings now. Go straight up, and that's your chicken. Place it directly onto the rice, but go to the right just a little bit, so you're over the entire. Yep, there you go, perfect. And now grab another piece, and you're gonna want to line the the rice with the chicken. Is this fine? Beautiful. Yeah, two pieces of chicken is plenty because it's gonna be thick, right? Now we do our vegetables. Grab yourself a little bit of cabbage, so go to the right. Grab yeah. like a pinch of cabbage. And then do the same thing where you place it like kind of over the chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should be able to feel the chicken too. And then this way you kind of spread it evenly. And then we're going to do the same thing with the bell peppers. Do I need more cabbage? No, that's good because normally if you add too much, you can't really roll it. Grab a maybe like four sticks of the cucumber. And do I grab the bell pepper as well? You can grab the bell pepper too, yeah. Grab yourself like four pieces of bell pepper. All right. Now you're going to do the same thing. Just kind of gently place them on top. You're finally at the stage where we can finish, right? So look at your kimbap. The, the vegetables are kind of off of the rice. So take your right hand. I yeah. want you to take those and just shift them to the left a little bit, just so they don't all like spill out. That's perfect. Yeah. Now we can throw some of our soy sauce mayo right on top of all of that. Grab a pretty hefty spoonful of, of soy mayo. Now you're just going to kind of drip it over the top of all of the stuff you just put on there. Start in the okay. center right there and just kind of spread it. 
That is. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Put a little bit of water on your hands again. And then now we're going to actually attempt to roll this. Now you're going to roll it like a burrito, if that kind of makes sense. So take the sheet yeah, yeah. and just Put it roll it and start pushing the ingredients back in towards the middle because they'll naturally want to come out. Just get your hands dirty. Roll it. Roll it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're doing this it. It feels way too Look thick. It. Holy shit. Look at this beast, dude. Bro. Oh, God. Like, right. you're, you're basically there. Wait, what's the next step then? Cutting it in half and eating it. <laughs> Bro, we did it, man. Like, straight up. Like, it only took two hours, but we got there. Did it actually take two hours? Now just slice down, man. Now we got to show chat. Pick up the thick boy. Show him the center. Let's see what it looks like. Aha. Uh -huh. Since we finished this, I can take off that headset finally. Nothing left to do. I can finally see myself what we made. But people are saying it's good. That's a pretty that's a pretty solid effort, bro. Especially for like all of that. We we did the most today. Oh, oh yeah. my god, it hurts. Yeah, yeet your 11 pound headset. Oh, holy shit, what is this? The world is so much different than I expected. Okay, it's not that bad actually. No. Hey, we, we made some sushi. Look at it, dude! Alright, let me. Let me eat it might this be falling finally. apart, but it's okay. You're just it it kind of is. I just want a bite of everything, you know? We, we've yeah, spent yeah, so yeah. much time putting it together. I'm, pr I'm proud of you. I think there should have been more mayo. More mayo? I didn't want to go too heavy because a lot of the time people are like turned off by mayo. Hopefully that was good. What do you think, chat? For the effort, no joke, solid 8 out of 10. You know, if someone served me that and I had to pay for it, I'd probably be upset. <laughs> but for where we got, like all of that effort, that was that was good, man. I would say it, it looks kind of looks wise is like four out of ten, yeah, but taste wise, taste. it's a solid like eight or nine. Honestly, really easy to make as well. And it's like ingredients that exist in everybody's home, except for exactly. that nori sheet. But even then, like if you didn't want to use the nori sheet, you could get really good at maybe cutting cucumber and roll it with cucumber. Oh, right. wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you can make cucumber sheets. It's very difficult, Um, but you can like you, you cut the cucumber super thin and then that way it's basically the size of a nori sheet and then you can roll it that way, dude. Thank you so much for coming on. If you want to see me do another blindfolded cooking video where uh, things go, uh, I, I think, much better or much worse, please click, click right here. Yeah, yeah. Cooking videos. Hell yeah.